Now, a few weeks ago, we brought you news of a study being carried out in Bristol by the team at the Children of the 90s Project. They wanted to find out how many of us are actually catching the virus. The results are in, and Professor Nick Timpson told me what they found out. Well, we tried to go out to 5,000 people. We had to go out to more because the demand was so strong. We had amazing participation from our Children of the 90s participants. And we found that in those who are around the age of 30, approximately 6% of those had been exposed to the, uh, to, the, to, the, um, to the infection. And that contrasts to those who are older, so their parents, who are sort of upper 60s, uh, and, and those have been uh, infected at a rate of about 3%. So in all, we had a little over 200 or so participants who'd been infected. And did they know, by and large, that they'd been infected? So that was one of the fascinating things. Not so surprising, but we found that actually uh, over a quarter of those who were tested had no idea that they'd been infected at all. And this relates to that, that asymptomatic presentation that we need to measure and understand better. Right. So you've got a, a lot of people in their sort of 20s and 30s now, 6% uh, of whom have had the virus, uh, mm. but their parents haven't. That number's half. So what lifestyle lessons are there to be learned from that? It's a very interesting question, and it's difficult to say at this stage the, uh, the, the features which are predisposing those who are younger uh, to an infection, although what we're likely to be seeing is the hallmarks of this asymptomatic footprint. So those who really don't know that they're carrying an infection or who have very mild symptoms, and it's just more likely that there is transmission. We all know that COVID can move very swiftly through the population, and I guess that would happen more often in those who don't know they've been infected. And what happens next? So, good question, and this is really important. So, our participants have been terrific in helping us out so far. We're now using the new data from these tests to design a next stage to understand what happens after the infection. That's everything from the hallmarks of long COVID or what happens to people after they've been infected to make them feel uh, fatigued or breathless. But also, really importantly, what happens to our immune systems after the disease. That really is critical, isn't it? Uh, thank you so much. Really good to talk to you. Thank you.